c'est incroyable, mais c'est incroyable. Bonjour, bonjour, bienvenue sur ma chaîne YouTube PP World pour la deuxième vidéo avec Javier au sujet de Dolby. J'ai la chance d'être ici pour parler notamment du Dolby Vision 2. Donc on a parlé avec, avec Javier et de quelque chose dont on a parlé beaucoup avec TCL et Olivier, du Dolby Flex Connect. Alors il y a une vidéo, il est là Javier, il y a une vidéo qui est sortie sur la chaîne, enfin deux qui parlaient du Dolby Flex Connect. Et là je demande directement à Javier. Hello Javier Hi baby, how you doing I'm fine and you Good, great to be with you again. Yeah, great, we, great to be with you too. I mean, we are talking about something that we saw on, on, my, on my YouTube channel, Dolby Flex Connect. I mean, it was announced, I mean, one or two years ago here at the IFA, I mean, with TCL, and then nothing during maybe 18 months, and now you're back with a final product. But the only brand that talked about it was TCL. What is it? How does it work? And what are the compatibilities between this brand and these brands and these brands? We need to know that. Okay. So Flex Connect is a technology that allows you to enjoy Atmos with a flexible configuration. What does that mean? In classical Dolby Atmos, you know, you have to put the speaker here. It has to be in a very precise location. You want it behind the sofa. You want it on the other side. So we realized that was a pain. That was a real pain. So what we're trying to do is, can we create an immersive sound environment where you can put the speakers wherever it's convenient for you? You may have a shelf on the, on the wall. You may have something next to your TV and you want to be able to put your speakers there. So we rethought how the Atmos engine works to be able to give it the flexibility to adapt to your environment. Now, what does that mean? It means different number of speakers. It means different locations for the speakers. And it means maybe sometimes not very optimal locations for the speakers. We try to adapt to that. Uh, now, the most important thing is that it also uses the speakers on the TV which is very important because at least your TV has two speakers. So even if you have two additional speakers, that's already four. So we start from a much better base. Now, that's generally what Flex Connect does. Now, more specifically, um, how does this situ Flex Connect here work? In theory, it can work with anything. As long as you have a base, in this case... This is the base. The base, the TV. Yeah, the TV. Your base could be a soundbar. Your base could be anything as long as it does all the Atmos decoding. What it does... It tries to figure out how the room works, where are the speakers. If you notice here, we've got a speaker all the way out there. Look at that, look at that speaker there. It's very far away. Now, no home theater enthusiast will tell you that's where you put your speaker. That is not where you put your speaker. But we just have to be conscious of how the real world works. So we want to allow for those kind of things. Now, it tries to map out where all the speakers are. Once you know where all the speakers are, are what can I do about it? Well, maybe I want to send a modified signal to this speaker here, I have a different signal to that speaker over there, and altogether I can create a similar effect uh, to what you would get if you had the optimal locations. Now, of course, this is all wireless because we know people don't like wires around the house. So we there's a way I'm afraid for the yeah. <laughs> well, do you have the power? I need to for the power. Well, there's no reason why you couldn't have it with. Um, With a battery. With a battery. Yeah. It, it so, can be done. So, I mean, um, just like you do in soundbars today, where you have a detachable speaker that goes with a battery, you could potentially do that. I mean, that's not a Flex Connect limitation. That's a product design limitation. So, you were asking, oh, you saw this a couple years ago. So, why do we finally see it? Well, there's a lot of work that needs to go to make this happen. Uh, more specifically, it's the chipsets that go into the speakers and the TV that have to be compatible with FlexConnect. And that's where the difficulty lies. So not only do we have to convince companies like TCL to, uh, to uh, implement this, it's the company that makes the chipsets that has to implement it. Now, in this case, it's a MediaTek chipset. So there's a very specific solution developed by MediaTek to make FlexConnect work. So there's a MediaTek chip in here that communicates with the MediaTek chip over here. And both are compatible. So hey, we're both Flex Connect. We can do stuff with each other. And that's how this works. Now, one of the questions people always have, oh, can I mix and match different speakers? Blah, blah, blah. Our vision is that someday we'll be able to make all the different speakers work together and you can mix and match. Now today, it's a more limited solution because we're working with a very specific MediaTek solution. It works only with the brands that have done all the integration between the two pieces. And the TCL is the only one yeah, today. Yeah, TC in the case of TCL, what they've done is they've made 
other new TVs compatible, so you can actually mix and match these speakers with any of the new TVs. Uh, you know, the name was like C5, C6, all those new TVs that they're launching. So you can mix and match with these specific TVs. Now, is that our vision of the future? We hope and we, we're confident someday you'll be able to mix and match speakers, but there's a very important step we need to do for that because today we're using Wi-Fi. Now, the Wi-Fi protocol, for those who have played with Wi-Fi, it has certain limitations. It's got a problem called latency. Now, latency is a pain. <laughs> I mean, latency makes your life very difficult because if the sound gets to the speaker a bit late, the whole thing is ruined. So it's a very delicate protocol. We think we, the future will probably be something like Bluetooth. I mean, a special codec, I mean, not the usual codec, no, something no. very so, special. So what we're doing is we're actually working with the Bluetooth standard committee to put in some additional functionality in there so that any Bluetooth chip will be compatible. Now, that's going to take a couple of years, but the goal is at some point, all the new standard Bluetooth chips will be compatible with this. So if your TV has Flex Connect or your soundbar has Flex Connect or any device that the, the hub has Flex Connect, you'll be able to talk to any Flex Connect speaker. Now, we know that day today. That's our vision where we want to go. What you will see today is specific products that have specific uh, solutions. You will also, uh, I think you will probably see other devices like soundbars also making a limited use of FlexNet, where maybe you can detach a speaker from the soundbar and put it on the side of the room to help you get that immersive soundscape. But um, it's going to be, again, a step-by-step -step process. Now, the thing that we're really happy about is that this is a solution that I think works well and is easy to understand. So I have a standalone Bluetooth, spe I mean, Wi-Fi wi speaker. I can use it with my phone to play music, but if I bring it together with my TV, it actually helps me have an immersive Atmos experience. And that's what we love about it. Now, I think it's going to take a while for people to understand because even, I have to say, even people who in theory understand end up putting the speakers in the perfect location. Why? Because they're used to it. It's going to take a while before people get, hey, you know, I can put this on the window because that's where it fits. That's where it doesn't bother me. Or I have a table. I want to put it on the table. So I think we'll slowly all, you know, get used to being able to do this kind of thing before, you know, the sound expert yells at us, you know, putting the speaker in the right place. So we're going to have freedom to put the speakers wherever I want. Javier, bon, je vais finir en français parce que tu parles français de façon n'importe comment. Bon, Javier, l'idée quand même qui, qui m'épate dans tout ça, c'est que là, tu, vous lancez quelque chose avec TCL. Ça, ça a l'air, vu de l'extérieur, d'un cas parfaitement isolé, d'une marque qui a travaillé avec Mediatek pour elle-même, sans qu'il y ait d'autres options pour le moment. On a l'impression que c'est très isolé. La réalité, c'est que nous essayons de trouver un shortcut. Because people were so eager to get this to market, can we at least make it work with one specific solution? And that's why we did this. Because people don't want to wait two years. People want to see it now. And we found a shortcut. But, but of course, shortcuts always have limitations. You know, shortcuts always have limitations. And, uh, You know, this is our best attempt to bring something to market very soon. Donc, comme pour le Dolby Vision 2, on est sur quelque chose qui est euh, qui va exploser, selon toi, qui va donc avoir beaucoup de succès. Mais on attend, en fin de compte, que l'industrie euh, s'y mette de façon massive. Alors que pour le moment, euh, il n'y a que TCL aujourd'hui, dans tous les cas, au moment de l'IFA de Berlin, il n'y a que TCL qui a bougé avec son propre système. Le truc qui met pas le plus dans tout ce que tu dis, c'est le côté euh, Wi-Fi et Bluetooth, parce qu'en effet, moi, j'ai toujours eu le sentiment quelque part que le Wi-Fi pouvait avoir des très hauts débits, ce qui est bon pour la qualité audio. Il peut y avoir un problème. Et là, tu me parles de Bluetooth. Ça me fait tout drôle d'entendre de, parler de Bluetooth. Okay. So, we actually demonstrated last year at CES how to make one of these systems work with Bluetooth. It was a very specific chipset that, you know, the, the uh, maker of that chipset worked with us. We demonstrated Bluetooth working with eight channels. Now, it's, like, like I said, it's a lot of hard work where they to make that work. But it works with the full bandwidth that you need for this. Now, why do we think Bluetooth is a, is a better solution? First, it's a more mainstream solution. I mean, all wireless speakers are Bluetooth. Second, it doesn't have the latency problems that you have with Wi-Fi. So we actually think it will help us, it will help us reach a better solution. And of course, because it's Bluetooth, it's more affordable. The you know, more mainstream chipsets are the ones that have Bluetooth. So we'll make it available to 
even more affordable speakers. I mean, these speakers are a great price. Don't get me wrong. I think two forty nine for this is is awesome. I like it. You know, I want two of them. Ça travaille en Wi-Fi, ça c'est du Wi-Fi yeah. propriétaire yeah. avec le téléviseur qui a le chipset MediaTek à l'intérieur et c'est un circuit fermé quelque sorte. Rabia, bon, je continue en français euh, parce que c'est plus simple. Euh, Rabia, tu sais qu'il y a Sony qui a lancé, qui a lancé le, le Quad et le, un modèle qui est, qui est fabuleux, le HTA9, mais eux ils ont un Wi-Fi propriétaire et ça fonctionne pourtant. Yes, that's very true. Uh, Sony has launched their own proprietary solution using their own Sony 360 solution. I cannot comment on is yeah. it good or bad. It's their solution. Mais ils utilisent comme le Dolby Atmos Sony, mais le système est pas Flex Connect, mais utilise son, son Wi-Fi propriétaire Sony, c'est ça? Yeah, I mean, honestly, Sony has the technology to be able to design their own closed systems. What we're trying to do is something that's available for the whole industry. Now, this is the first step, so I don't think this is the last step. And of course, people will try their own thing. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see other people trying things. What we're trying to do is something that will be available for the whole industry, because that's what we do. We don't actually sell a specific brand. I mean, we're an ingredient brand that we call it. You know, we make technology for the whole industry. So it's great that Sony is doing that, because in a way, Um, they're educating the consumer that there's a more flexible decision that has potential. Now, if that was a great success, I hope it is. I'm sure other people will jump in and, hey, Dolby, I want one of those too. You know, and we can help them. Tu es incroyable, Javier. Tu es incroyable. <laughs> pour finir, Javier, donc, l'objectif final, c'est que tout fonctionne avec tout chez toi. Et parce que pour le moment, l'interopérabilité n'est pas là, mais c'est ce que vous voulez faire pour l'industrie. Of course. I mean, I think we have to take it step by step. Our ultimate vision, our ultimate goal is you can make everybody's uh, products work with everybody's. Maybe TCL speakers or some other brand speakers connecting to a TCL TV. That's our goal. But we have to take it step by step. And uh, you'll see more product announcements this year. And as you can see, we'll be filling up the portfolio. And we'll get there. I'm optimistic. I'm definitely optimistic. Tu es toujours optimiste de toute façon. Oh, tu mais, tu... mais c'est mon job. C'est ton job. Il <rire> faut mieux l'avouer. If, if, if I don't have a, a bright image of the future, how am I going to do my job? I mean, we have to be innovators. We have to be creators. That's what we're here for. And that's, that's what makes a company like Dolby fun. You know, we have to look what's coming and try to get there. Raïe, merci beaucoup, merci, merci, tu as vraiment été génial, c'est très clair, donc moi je parlais français, tu parles, bah, tu parles ah. trois, quatre langues et tout, mais toi tu es plus, plus fluente en, en, en anglais. Alors, en français, Pepe, merci beaucoup, oh. c'est génial que tu es venu chez nous, euh, je suis heureux de parler avec ta durant, c'est toujours mais, spécial. Ma communauté va t'adorer, ils vont t'adorer, ah. merci à toi, à très très vite, à très très vite dans d'autres endroits, des salons et tout, vous allez faire plein bye de bye, choses. C'est fini, c'est fini, enfin on est en super VIP ici. Hein. Euh, vous voyez un petit peu toutes les technologies, toutes les choses qui sont autour de Dolby Vision 2 avec les gens qui vont travailler avec Dolby Vision 2.